in this question it is clearly mentioned that it, we are discussing about the settling behavior of the sediments at different concentrations so let's discuss about the different types of sediment uh, different types of settlings in sedimentation tank first there is type 1 settling type 1 settling includes the discrete settling here the particle settles independently without affecting the particles another particles so it happens when the concentration of the particles is very less then there is type 2 settling also known as flocculating settling this happens when the concentration is a uh, much a uh, little higher than the type, type 1 concentration here the as the particle settles they gets flocculated with the particles already present and hence when the particle settles their size increases increasing their their velocity as well then comes the type 3 settling in type 3 settling also known as zone settling the in zone of influence of the one particle settling affects the zone of influence of the other particle hence the settlement is affected by each other particles and they settle as a zone and in type 4 settling also known as compression settling the uh, the weight of the settling particles settling above the concerned particles influence the influence the settling of the particle below it so uh, this is known as compression settling in compression settling the concentration of the particles is very high thus it is generally used in sludge thickening as uh, such processes now let's discuss about discrete settling in discrete settling we generally consider that the particles are spherical so for a spherical particle which is settling under the influence of gravity the forces uh, acting are weight of the particle then there is a buoyant force acting on the particle and then there is a drag force these three forces are in equilibrium with each other hence there is no acceleration thus the velocity created is constant velocity we term this velocity as the terminal velocity and this terminal velocity is derived as 4 by 3 g minus 1 g d square upon coefficient of drag this equation is used to find the terminal settling velocity and this cd coefficient of drag depends on the reynolds number thus its graph graphical representation is given th like this for the spherical particles the curve is this dotted line curve and it can be clearly seen from here that the when the flow is laminar which means the reynolds number is less than reynolds number is less than 1 then the coefficient of drag is equal to 24 upon re and when our Reynolds number lies in the range of 1 to 10 ki power 4 then the flow is termed as transition flow and the coefficient of drag is written as 24 upon re plus 3 upon root re plus 0.34 and when the flow is turbulent that is our Reynolds number is greater than 10 ki power 4 then the coefficient of drag is approximately equal to 0 0.4 thus we can now clearly see that the type 1 settling is called discrete settling which is correct and terminal velocity in suspension is achieved when drag force is balanced by gravity force this is clearly wrong as as the drag force plus buoyant force are balanced by the gravity force and type 2 in type 1 settling for reynolds number 100 to 300 yes this range is within the range of transition of 1 to 10 to the power 4 1 to 10 to the power 4 so this statement is also correct and in type 2 velocity of flux does not remain terminal yes since the velocity keeps on increasing we, does, we do not term it as uh, the terminal velocity and its velocity is keeps on increasing is it is found by column settling method hence option c d is also correct so the answer would be a c and d